gorgeous. Welcome back to Ed Hunts today, back at the boot fairs, and yes, yeah, a bit overcast today, but looks quite busy. Time is currently 12 minutes past seven. That's what we can find. How much are these, mate? 50p. 50p. I'll take two. Cheers, mate. Thank you. How much is that, mate? Two quid. Two? I'll give you two quid for that. What are these, mate? What are they? Sorry? What are these? So they're old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. Oh. They're some of the villains. How much more for these? I'm looking at this one at the moment. Red dragon, that first two seconds. He'll be about 30 Oh, okay, so they're connectable. They, they are, yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh. Nice to see him anyway. Cheers, man. Thank you. How much are the games, Danny, mate? Pound each. How many? I don't want them all. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'll take them two, mate. Check them. Yeah, that's right. How much is that? Give me a pound. It's a bit damaged. Yeah. How much are games, mate? Um, those two, like, they're still sealed, so I do £5 on those ones, but then £3 on the rest. Oh, that's not sealed, that's just like game sealed. Yeah, like, yeah it's like a pre owned one. So. Yeah, it's pre owned, yeah. yeah, it's not sealed. Um, £3 How much is that one, sorry? Uh, I'll give £3 if it's like the, the open ones. Okay. We do two for four? We do two for five. So we say £3 each? Yeah. I'll, I'll give you three quick for that one. How much are the games? Pound a game. Pound a game, yeah? Yeah, I've got three there. Yeah, I've got three. Yep. And that's real, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, mate. Whoa. That's crazy. Right, so we just arrived at boot fair number two now. Boot fair number one was all right. Uh, there was a little bit of competition there, but managed to find a few bits and bobs. So, but boot fair number two, let's hope we get some better luck here. Look at this again. 
Hey, 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 mate. Great. You all right? Yeah. Oh, not the overreaction like last time, eh? Yeah. Well, I've got a lot more this time. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. At least it's all the box ones, so yeah. Oh, okay. I think uh, he wants them too. Party? Yeah. Well, I've had a look. I've, I'm sort of saying it's very good condition. I'm aware it's got that, but it has got the manual. It's obviously the carts in there. Um, I'd sort of say it's very good. <laughs> there was one at 70 that's mint, like new, no manual. Which is no so. good. The next one then is about 108 pounds. Anyway, I'm oh, going back. Yeah. I'm back. Always I'll come back. back. Yeah, yeah. Much appreciated, yeah. yeah. Nice one, man. Bye, Ed. I'm going to walk. Come back. There'll be more coming out. When I I'm will. Ready. Don't worry. I'm, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. How much are your games done, mate? 50p? How much for that? £2. You got another sweet bits and beats? No, no, they've all gone unfortunately. What do you have? Games. Oh, did you? Oh, shit. Quite a bit too late then, though. Yeah. They're free for each, then once. They're £2 each. Mm -hmm. They're a five each, they're £8 each. Gotcha. How much do you say these ones were? Three pounds. How much are these two here? Uh, that one's three pound, that one's a ten. And we're back. So, just came back from the boot fitters, and yeah, today was actually pretty good. The first boot fair did start off a little bit slow. It was quite hard to find things, even though I did find a few little bits and bobs like pretty much straight away. Uh, the second boot fair I felt was a little bit better. Um, I did see a retro game seller that I've seen at a previous boot fair. Managed to get a few bits and bobs off him. One game I did pretty much pay on the money for, but then I got a few loose carts off him that I got for a pretty good price. Uh, and then there was one Switch game that I got that I actually went back to a seller that I got a uh, Switch case from. Um, I was just kind of walking around they were like oh yeah we've got one more game so managed to get a game it was off camera but I went back there later and I got a really good deal on this game so let's start going through the pickups now um, let, try, I was trying to start from the beginning and go through but yeah it's, it was early this morning so um, first of all I've got these two Nintendo 3DS flex cases got two of them guy had probably about I think he had like five or six of them these are only 50p each I mean they're brand new um unused and you know the nintendo product so power a 50 peach i thought that was a pretty good deal so pick them two up 50 peach uh then we've got the games here we've got a uh, psp game international athletics i was a pound we've got a couple of uh nintendo labo games this is actually from that retro game center as well this these were uh i think it was a two pound each uh, then we've got coded arms on psp uh, we've got a sealed copy of FIFA 21, that was just a pound as well, uh, and we've got some Xbox 360 other games here, we've got Rainbow Siege on the 360, can't really remember how much that was, maybe two quid, Tomb Raider, Xbox 360, pound, we've got Phonics Fun on the 3DS, uh, Chelsea FC on the PS2, uh, then we've got, like, there was this guy who had, like, he just got out of a load of stuff out of his family. This is like the first boot fair actually. And he was just like, yeah, pound a game, pound a game, or two pound a game. You know, he was trying to get rid of it. And um, I picked up this uh, track and field international on the PS1. And then I opened it up and I didn't realize that there was more than one disc in there, but there was actually three more discs in there, but I took one of them out because it was just a crappy Wii game. But first we've got Crash Bash on the PS1. It's the platinum version. We've got Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. 
which is also the platinum version, and we have the actual game, International Track and Field. So actually you got like four for one there, and that was a pound. So um, unfortunately I don't have the cases for those games, but you know, four games for one, I'm not gonna complain. And then we've got Final Fantasy VII. The most anticipated epic adventure of the year will never come to a theater near you. Final Fantasy VII. My buddy Harry actually handed me this uh, because it does actually have a disc missing. Uh, so you can see that's uh, disc three, and this is uh, disc one. It does have the manual in there, but this was only like three pounds. So Final Fantasy seven, three pounds. I thought that was actually a really good deal. Other than that, it's actually in pretty good. It's got a tiny little nick on the case, but other than that, quite happy with that. Uh, we've got Assassin's Creed Syndicate, on Xbox 360. I think that might have been two pounds. Uh, we've got Tiger Woods 2000, again this was a pound, it's in there but no manual, um, FIFA 18, I don't even know what I called that, I think that was just with uh, a pile of other games. Uh, then we've got a unofficial PlayStation 4 controller, it does work, I've tested it and yeah it works quite well, I mean it's only two quid so I thought I'd pick that up and it's in the collection. Uh, then we've got some more, some more Xbox 360 games and one game, we've got Call of Duty World War 2, yeah, I can't remember how much that was. Bayonetta on the 360, really good game, bit like Devil May Cry. We've got Sonic All Star Racing, always a good one for chopping. And we've got Madagascar, Madagascar 2, uh, Escape from Africa. Right, so now let's get to the decent games. So, first of all, I'll go through the retro games that I've got off the retro game seller. So, these three were £7.50, so 250 each. It's Turret 2, Seeds of Evil, great game. I've uh, got Mission Impossible on N64. Not so great game. And we've got uh, 1080 snowballing on the N64 as well. Absolute classic for me. Uh, and then probably one of the better games that I've got today, definitely South Park Chef's Love Shack on the N64. Join the party at South Park Chef's Love Shack, the video game where you and your friends get down for some major four player fun with the love gourmet himself. Now I've got a little story about this game. Back in probably around 2000, 2001, 13, 14 year old, had a little bit of store credit at Game Station and um, I went in there after school, probably about four o'clock and I spent the next three hours in there trying to decide what I was going to spend on that credit and I was kind of torn between a few games and I ended up getting this. I remember taking it home, playing it for about 15 or 20 minutes and thinking, I have just made the biggest mistake of my life. I tried to return it and it only gave me store credit because like, oh, you've clearly paid it already. So um, yeah, it's something I'll never forget. And um, I, I don't know, I just love that. For, uh, I mean, I love South Park anyway. So I'm definitely gonna put this into the N64 again and give it a go. So yeah, I don't have it in the collection. So you're yeah, really happy to have it. And I think that was 26. So I did pay up for it, but you know, so you don't see these often. So I thought I'd grab it. Right, so then I've got this uh, switch case. No, this was only two pounds. Um, I opened it up, there's no games in there or nothing, but um, I think it was a little bit dirty actually, but I cleaned up a little bit. And yeah, it fits a proper switch. So I don't actually have a proper switch case. I keep getting switch light cases, so it's actually really good and I can actually put my um, switch in there. So I walked back past that seller later and they said that they had uh, another game that they hadn't sold yet. And that game is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on Switch. This is only a fiver, so unbelievable. This trades in for like 35 pounds or something, but I'm gonna keep it. So really, really happy with that. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, probably the pickup of the day. And uh, yeah, really, really happy. So that's it from the pickups from the boot fairs this week. We've got a load of trips coming up. We're gonna be going to the west of the country and we're gonna go into the east of the country and we're gonna be selling at a show. We're gonna be doing hunting. We're gonna be playing retro games, so if you're excited for that, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I'll see you 